Hello, future gardeners. In this chapter, we're gonna learn all about onions. We're gonna talk about the different stages of the onion, and I'm gonna show you how to grow green onions. So generally, we're used to bulb onions in the grocery store, right? Like these, we've got white onions, yellow onions, they're also red onions. And in order to grow an onion this big, we generally, in the south, are planted in the fall. It'll grow all through the winter. It comes up in the springtime, and then I harvest in summer. If you want onion flavor earlier, and you don't want to wait that long, you can actually grow green onions, and you can get some beautiful onion flavor in your meals. You can plant them any time of the year, and you can start harvesting them in 30 days. There are a couple of ways that you can grow green onions. You can grow them from seed, you can grow them from a little transplant, but you can also grow them from little mini onion bulbs that are also called onion sets. And that's actually my favorite and the easiest way to grow green onions and to get them in 30 days. So I've got some right here. So these are onion sets. They look like little mini baby onions. And these are immature onions that have been grown and pulled up you can get yellow onions, which these will produce yellow onions. You can get them as white onions or you can get them as red onions. All of them have green tops and there's not much difference in flavor of the greens. So before we plant these onions and put these sets in the ground, let's talk about sun requirements and nutrient requirements. So onions need six to eight hours of sun and they need a nice, loose soil mix that is nutrient-rich and light and fluffy. You can plant your onions in a container, so a nice pot. Make sure you use potting soil when you're doing that. You can plant your onions in a raised bed, like I'm doing today, um, and I fill this raised bed with nice, nutrient-rich compost, or you can use garden soil or raised bed mix. Um, and then you can also definitely plant your onions in the ground, again, make sure that you are mixing in really good compost into your soil so that it's nice and loose. I've got six to eight hours of sunshine. I've got eight inches of soil. So now we're ready to plant. So let's get planting. There's a couple of things that we need to keep in mind when we're planting our green onions from onion bulbs. So I'm gonna make about five trenches in this soil, about four inches apart. Now the other thing with planting the onion bulbs, we're gonna plant them two to four inches deep. All right, so I'm gonna make my first trench and I like to use my hands. And then with onion set, there is a top that's pointy and there's a bottom. This is where the roots are gonna come out of. So it's important that you make sure that you plant it with the pointy part up. Okay, so I usually like to hold the tip, just press it down into the soil, and you just continue that until you have filled your trench. Just like that. Okay. And make sure you push it in there because if you just lay it on top and then you go to cover it, you can knock the onion over and so it will be pointed to the side and then it has to fight to turn to come up when it sprouts. So you want this pointed straight up and then we cover our trench. All right, just move that soil over and press it down, okay? And then repeat that same thing for the next four trenches. Some of the onions you will see have already started sprouting. And that's great, because you know this one is definitely gonna sprout. You know you're gonna be super successful with that one. All right, as I'm covering over the onions that I've planted, I am not compacting the soil, right? Keeping it nice and fluffy. So we're all done planting our onion sets, and now it's time to water them in. After you planted, we want a deep soaking watering session. We planted these about 
three to four inches deep. So we want the water to be that deep in the soil because that's where our plants are. That's where our bulbs are. And they'll need that water to help them get the nutrients out of the soil to grow. Now that we've watered in the onion bulbs and they have a nice heavy soaking soil, we want to make sure that the surface of the soil stays moist until they sprout. Once they have sprouted and emerged above the surface of the soil, you can cut back to about once to twice a week and you don't need it to be this soaking wet again. In the meantime, I had already planted some onion bulbs on the other side of this container. We planted them 15 days ago and they have sprouted already. So let's check them out. So these are the bulbs we planted 15 days ago. They've already sprouted. Some of them are taller than others, but as you saw when we planted the onion bulbs a second ago, some were already sprouted out of the bag. So those will come up faster and the others would come up a little bit slower. But I'm happy with how well this has come up. This row, I can see they're all still, they all have sprouted and they're just coming up. So I'm happy with these guys. This bulb, I generally wouldn't do this, but I want you to see what happens. This is the, the pointy part that we say, make sure we point it up and the bottom, and this is where the root comes out. So, and I can feel a nice sprout in here. You can actually see that it is pushing through. This is what's happening underneath the surface of the soil. It's sending out roots on the bottom and that little sprout is coming in at the top. I'm gonna put this guy back in the soil, bury him again. Okay, so I'm gonna taste this. Oh, that's such a beautiful, delicate onion flavor. Very fresh, so good. Tastes like a chive, but a little bit stronger. In the next two weeks, they're gonna grow a lot. The tops will double in size, they'll be fatter. So I should be able to start harvesting from these in about 15 days. So here we are 30 days later after we've planted our onion bulbs and they have grown a lot. This is about a foot tall. And as we can see, some are nice and super tall and some are still coming up. They're not quite a foot yet. What ends up happening is you have sort of like a continuous harvest. Like you can harvest these long ones today. The other ones will continue to grow. You can harvest those next. So you just sort of have like a rotating harvest of onions as you just harvest the ones that are tall enough. Important note as well, once you commit to harvesting your onions as green onions, that onion will not produce a big onion. You have to have separate plantains depending on what it is that you want. I grew these as green onions and we're going for that fresh 30 day green onion flavor. All right, let's harvest these green onions. So I wanna find the onion that has the tallest growth. And as you can see here, the onion grows from the center. We want to cut about two and a half inches up from the level of the soil because we want to preserve this center so that it can continue to regrow. If you cut it too low, it will eventually grow back, but it's going to take much longer. It'll take maybe like 30 days to grow back. If you preserve this center, you'll be able to harvest again in about a week or two. So real simple, just get your scissors, like I said, a couple of inches above the soil. Mmm, that smells so good. I love onions. They grow in everything. And there's your first green onion harvest. And I'm just gonna be harvesting just the tall ones today. It's a really good flavor. You know, you don't really need a ton of green onions. And I'm planning to cut these up and sprinkle them on my tacos tonight. So I'm really only gonna need about one more handful. So I'm gonna harvest one more. And just remember, we're cutting these onions. We're not pulling them up, right? If you pull up this green onion by the root, you won't be harvesting it again. In this chapter, you learned all about growing your own green onions. We started with a bulb and we've gotten fresh green onions in 30 days. I hope that what I've taught you has set you up for success. Happy growing. <laughs>